This is the solution to written homework seven. Okay, find and classify all relative extrema using a slope chart. Okay, the first step is to compute the natural domain of the original function, so the natural domain of this. The natural domain, because f is a polynomial, the natural domain is all x, so all x which is to say that there are no breaks in the natural domain. That's good. That means that this question is relatively easy. Second is we need to find the critical points. Critical points. Uh, that is to say, we need to find everywhere that the derivative is undefined or 0. So the derivative will be 4x cubed minus, and then the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, and that 3 will cancel with that. So that'd be 40x squared, and then plus 100x. So now we're going to simplify this as much as possible. I can see that 4x is common to all of those terms. And if we factor 4x out of each one, the first one would be x squared, and then minus 10x, and then plus 25. And now that quadratic factors, so that is derivative of f is 4x and then uh, multiplied by, well, that factors to x minus 5 squared. So the first question is where is the derivative of f at x undefined? Okay, none. So that, that derivative is defined everywhere. And then the second question is, where is the derivative equal to 0? Well, because we simplified it, it's clear that the derivative is equal to 0 exactly when x is 0, because of that one, or when x is 5, because of that one. So x equal to 0, x equal to 5. So, of course, that 0 comes from that one. And this x minus 5 comes from that one. Okay, So then there's two zeros. <coughs> so we found the critical points. <coughs> 3. Now we make the slope chart. So specifically, we'll plot the entire natural domain. And we're going to plot all the breaks. There are none. All the places where the derivative is undefined. There are none. And all of the places where the derivative is 0. There were 2. And they were at 0 and 5. So now, between each fence post, these individual things I'm calling fence posts. Let's select a number. So how about negative 1 in this region, 4 in this region, and 6 in this region. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take those test points, and we're going to plug them in to <coughs> this simplified expression of the derivative. plug them in there and check them for sign. Okay, well, if you plug negative 1 into 4x, you get something that is negative. And then if you plug negative 1 into uh, x minus 5, that's something negative. And then we're going to square it. So that will be squared. If we plug 4 in, that's something positive multiplied by something negative squared. And then you plug in 6, 
that's positive multiplied by something positive squared. So for this, the overall sign is negative because there's one, two, three negatives. And because this is a slope chart, we'll indicate that negativeness with negative slope. Then this is positive slope because there's two negatives, an even number of negatives. And then this is, again, positive because everything is positive. So that's the slope chart. Then four, we're able to make our conclusion The conclusion is, as for the relative uh, mins, there is a relative min at x is 0. So the reason why is because you can see that the slope changes from decreasing to increasing at 0. And this is a polynomial, so that's not a jump uh, or a missing point or anything. So there's a relative min at x is 0. And as for the relative max, there are none. There's none because you can see that here this is a valley decreasing to increasing, but there's no hills. So this is increasing and then increasing some more. So there's no relative max. And that's the answer.